Hello, Network to Code community. My name is Tim Fayola. I'm a developer advocate here at Network to Code. And today we're going to talk about the Notabot version control app. This video is going to cover defining the problem at hand. What problem does the version control app solve? This is the first video in a series of videos introducing the version control app to our community. This is the agenda we'll be following. First, we'll cover briefly common source of truth options. Then we'll discuss about why making changes to your production data can carry risk. Then we'll talk about a new, a new workflow that can reduce that risk. And we'll also discuss what that workflow should look like. And then we'll talk about existing tools and how they can serve as a model for solving this problem. There are a few common source of truth options out there right now. Uh, you have obviously you have spreadsheets. Those are easy to use, but they're not versionable. And keeping the data updated can be problematic in a spreadsheet. There's also the option of YAML plus Git. That is versionable. However, Git is made for source code, not data. So that can lead to some unexpected problems and pitfalls. Also, another problem in that is schema enforcement. You also have databases. And data should be kept in databases. That makes perfect sense. However, databases are not versionable. Then you have common source of truth applications like Notabot and Netbox, etc. Those provide a user-friendly UI, programmatic access, the ability to aggregate data from multiple sources of record. However, they carry a database backend, and the databases, like we said, are not versionable. Or are they? We're going to discuss that as we progress further in this slide deck. Notabot's version control app brings the benefits of version control to Notabot. So why should you care? Let's talk about why. Notabot's version control app enables and facilitates workflows that minimize your risk when making changes to production data in your source of truth. Additionally, Notabot's version control app allows for quick reversions or rollbacks to changes in your production data if a problem occurs once the new data reaches production. So a source of truth, like Notabot, is at the center of your network automation. Your source of truth provides a consolidated interface for your network automation infrastructure to get its data. Therefore, making changes directly to your production data in your source of truth should be done deliberately with safeguards. Making changes to your production data is risky. As with any production system, a live change carries risks. In our scenario here, incorrect data can cause service impacts. And those service impacts can cause operational churn and can also pose risks to the business if your SLAs are violated. So how can we reduce that risk? We can reduce the risk with a formal tool-driven process that allows for explicit review and discussion about the proposed changes. And it should also allow testing of those proposed changes prior to those changes being pushed into your production environment. This process should do the following. It should allow users to copy existing production data and make changes to the non-production copy. It should have explicit checkpoints for reviewing proposed changes to the data. It should allow discussion about the specific changes. It should allow users to modify the proposed changes as the review process continues. It should enable automated tests on the modified data. And it should allow a user to quickly revert changes to the data if there is a problem once the data is in production. Existing tools can serve as a model for how to solve this problem. The first tool we're going to discuss is Git. Git is a free open source software version control system. It is the most popular version control system in use today. It allows users to create different branches of a project in which to propose changes. It then allows changes from one or more branches to be merged back into the main or production branch. It also allows users to revert back to specific versions of files in the event a problem occurs with a recently changed file. The next tool we'll talk about is GitHub. GitHub is a web-based interface that uses Git under the hood. 
GitHub enables collaborative workflows to help ensure that any changes to production are tested and reviewed. Many GitHub workflows feature the Excuse me, many GitHub workflows have the following features. A main or production branch, which is the most recent version of the project that's in production. Non-main branches, which can be modified to uh, propose new features and or bug fixes. The GitHub also allows for a collaborative process whereby proposed changes to the main branch are discussed and reviewed by others. Finally, GitHub allows many GitHub workflows allow for automated testing of the proposed changes so that you can make sure you're not making a breaking change to prior functionality. Now, although Git and GitHub can serve as models for how to make changes to production data in a source of truth, they have a high barrier to entry because they require specialized knowledge and skills to use. An easy to use user interface for version control in the source of truth would help solve this problem. Okay, here are the main takeaways from today's presentation. One, we need tools and workflows that will reduce the risks associated with changing production data in our source of truth. These tools and workflows already exist in the software development realm. Porting these capabilities into the database and source of truth realm would reduce risk. An easy to use user interface would make these tools more useful. Thank you. This wraps up this video today. Up next, we're gonna talk about bringing version control to Nautabots database, what that means and how it will help you.